three types of people exist in this world. Those who are existing, those who are living, and those who are living life to the fullest. Just because you're alive doesn't mean you're truly living. Live your life to the fullest because this may be the only opportunity you get. Who knows, there may be life after death, however, I'm not going to take such a risk. Here are 49 out of 99 things you can do to enjoy life to the absolute fullest before you become dust. Number 1. Learn a hobby Have you always wanted to know how to play the guitar or even learn how to speak a new tongue? If so, then what the hell are you waiting for? Studies show that certain hobbies can boost brain power, especially in old age. You don't lose your brain power, it just degenerates as one gets older. However, learning and engaging in hobbies can improve synaptic connections, which means you won't lose your memory as fast as someone who's idling all day. Number two, work out. You don't work out because you always tell yourself you don't have the time or it is a waste of time. When you do this day after day and years after years, then it becomes permanent. Try telling yourself every day, yes, it must be every day though that you will work out. There is just way too much goodness to list out on exercise. Ever since I've incorporated working out, I have noticed a tremendous boost to my overall well-being. Number three, travel. I am currently living and traveling abroad. It sure beats staying in the same state year after year after year. Live in a new world, interact with a new cult unique culture, see new faces, open your taste buds to a whole new flavor. Also, even learn a new foreign tongue. Once you start, you won't ever want to stop. Just don't blow all your hard-earned money. Number four, start a business. You're not ever going to be wealthy unless you start a new business or invent something extraordinary, which in turn is a business. Everything is hard at first, but because second nature is after some getting used to it. You can expect to develop new skills, learn things you've never even thought of, and so on. Let me give you a piece of advice. When you start a business, plan on long term. If you start a business just to see what it's like, then that's precisely what's going to happen. 80% of new businesses fail within the first 18 months, so don't be alarmed. Number five, help people. Helping others is one of the best feelings in the world. If you've never helped anyone, then of course you don't have a clue to what I'm saying. I can't really describe it. The feeling is someone like worthiness. So whenever I help someone, I feel like I've done a good deal or maybe this world a better place. Even if it's just a fraction of a fraction. Anyway, so it would help if you try that. Go volunteer during the holidays or even give a hand whenever one of our brothers or sisters need it. Number six, educate and teach people. It's not an education one of the most critical aspects, if not the most essential aspect of life. Without education existing, you see, touch and feel within your perimeter would not be non-existent. When you educate someone, even if it is your own kin, it, make, it does make a difference to yourself and the rest of us. Pride yourself in education as well as teaching others. Educating others, not only helping them, but giving them an opportunity that they may have never had. Number seven, write a book. 81% of Americans want to write a book or become an author. Do you have capable hands? Are you able to render dark? If so, then write a book. Stephen King, J.K. Rowling, and others have become the top of the field. But before that, they were rejected not once, but over 10 times. It didn't stop them, so unless your book gets rejected 10 times by publication, then what are you procrastinating for? Number eight, throw the biggest party. Depending on your age and taste, throwing an epic party just may be the craziest bucket list. If you haven't seen Project X, then I suggest you do so. It's a once in a lifetime thing, man. So I live it to your fullest, right? Have you been to the full moon party in Thailand yet? Well, I have and let me tell you, it's indescribable. Just go. Number nine, drink in moderation. Two daily servings of alcohol for men and one serving for women is healthy. A 2005 study from Dutch has shown evidence that drinking in moderation can reduce type 2 diabetes as well as increase longevity. WTF. It doesn't mean you should drink every day, but it do also doesn't mean you should wait until the weekends to catch up on the six days that you've missed out. N 10. Try cannabis. Let's keep religion and politics out and science in. Cannabis has helped me in many ways, both good and bad. There are three types. Indinga, which gives your body high and is great for working out or sex. Sativa, which gets your brain high, so all you do is think about aliens attacking us and how maybe none of this is even real. Lastly, the hybrid. Stay away from this if you've never tried cannabis before. This will F you up. Cannabis has over 50 benefits. It's a plant, not a drug. Sugar, alcohol, and tobacco is a drug that kills millions of people each day. Cannabis, zero. Number 11, sleep. Humans spend 25% to 35% of our lives in slumber. Did you know that people who sleep 7 to 8 hours a day are more prone to happiness than those who get away with 6 hours or less? Studies also indicate that people who snooze for 4 hours or less are more likely to get into a fatal car accident. Sleeping at certain times can also uplift your mood. 
9 p.m. is when melatonin production starts, and by 6 p.m. it is virtually gone. So try to sleep during those hours to reap maximum health and happiness benefits. Number 12, meditate. Meditate is like opening the gates to heaven, partially. The best time to meditate is dawn and dusk with absolute silence except the sound of nature. Sunlight is proven to make humans happy or at least boost their mood. Meditation is hard. I mean, at first, it's almost impossible. Mostly because you're just sitting in one spot trying not to think of anything when in fact your brain is vacuuming every single thought and image that has ever existed to man. Start now if you haven't. Number 13, learn to cook. Going out for a meal can be costly and deadly. So much amount of salt, oil, and whatever ingredients are thrown into your plate to spice it up. Does it taste good? Absolutely. That's why you go there. If you can't learn to cook, then you can make whatever you want when you want. It's easy to cook unless you prefer to learn how to build a spaceship. Learn to eat to live, not live to eat, and you'll enjoy life even more. Number 14, eat healthily. You are what you eat. Put crap into your body and you will become crap. Put whole foods and foods from nature, then you will become whole and one with nature. Unhealthy food tastes delicious and healthy foods taste awful. Your taste buds have been altered since birth and so have your thoughts. If you do anything long enough, it becomes permanent. Many unhealthy foods also create pleasure in the mouth, not for the body. Number 15, make good friends. You want friends for the heck of it, or do you want good old buddies? Is it not better to have one good friend than a hundred fake or bad friends? Friends are like family, sometimes even more. How far is your friend willing to go for you? Your so-called fake friends, are they really there for you or just a backup plan? Like family, friends are a part of our human life. If you've never had a truly good friend, then it will be difficult for you to comprehend what a friend really is. Number 16, be positive always. There is a positive side to everything. Pessimistics will say that everything has a bad side to it. Duh. When you take an outlook on life as a whole, does it seem better to be positive or negative? I used to be negative for about 12 years or so. Man, it was irritating. From personal experience, I can tell you that being positive is a trillion times better than being negative. Never will I walk that path again. Number 17, love yourself. You can't truly love someone unless you start somewhere and that's with you. You may believe that loving others is the greatest feeling, but if you've never ever truly been madly in love with yourself, then you have may want to reconsider. Love for others may come and go, but you will always be there to enjoy your own presence, moment, joy, and pure love. Self-love makes you want to enhance every aspect of yourself and become perfect in every way. Please give it a go. You'll see life in a new way. Number 19, appreciate everything. Men take everything for granted. Air, water, light, comfort, and so forth. We ought to suffice this not. This path leads to an endless cycle of misery and lust. It's not the quality, air, fresh water, good friends, warm family, and life itself not the most important thing. 15% of humans are disabled and half the world lives in poverty. Are you one of these people? Maybe you should be disabled or poor. Your attitude will change instantly. Number 20, be a minimalist. I live abroad and travel. I possess two medium sized luggage and one laptop bag. As you can see, there's not much room for materialistic things. I've come to realize that enjoying life gets easier if one possesses only what matters. When you own a house, two cars, and a 50-foot container full of stuff in your home, what does it force you to do? Live there for years and years. As a minimalist, one can traverse the world and go wherever they please in as little as an hour. Stop making excuses. Excuses are just words. They have no meaning without some sort of action. You complain about life and how you'll never be rich. You complain about how you're fat, short, or disfigured. Everyone has some type of deformality, physical or mentally. It's how you choose to deal with them that changes the outcome. Do you want change? Then work for it. Words can only go so far before they wither to nothingness. Number 22, enjoy the little things. When you begin to be grateful or even for the little things, then it will be just that much easier to live for your life to the fullest. A man who's content with nothing will have everything. Thus, he will be the happiest man alive. It's okay to want things that you work for. Don't be so attached to this materialistic world. Everything crystal comes and goes. Try this for change. Have a few things physical that you and indeed adorn and cherish those things to make them last. For me, that would be my laptop, blender, phone, headphones, and the same clothes I've worn since high school. Number 20, get a massage when you can. Massages are a great way to start or even end the day, yet they can get pricey. If you're in Asia, then money is not the issue. Quality, however, is. Most of us know how massages feel. If we were all worth wealthy, then most of us would get a massage every day. I definitely would. 24. Don't sit all day. The average person sits 8 hours a day and that's just the statistics for work. We watch TV, use the PC, eat, read a book, drive cars to the metro and so forth. It's literally non-stop sitting all day every day. Haven't you heard that sitting is the new smoking? Sitting is not bad, but anything in excess over time can become a hazard. Sitting is no exception. Number 25. Try new things. You won't know if you like it until you try it. That's what makes life exciting. There are just so many fascinating things to try out before you are passing. Even if one lives to a ripe age of a thousand, you'll never experience everything that life has to offer. If you don't know what you want in life or have not found purpose, 
then keep trying. Eventually, you're bound to find something you were made for. Number 26. Read a book. When you watch TV or play video games, the images and imagination are laid out before us. No need to use your brains. On the other hand, reading a book forces us to open our minds and imagine anything to our liking. Reading not only makes one wiser, but can also reduce stress and it's a great way to wind down after a long day. Reading is self-education, the best education there is. Number 27. Set time for you every day. What is the point of living if you can't give yourself time or do what is good for you? Set aside at least 10 minutes a day for yourself. That can be meditation, exercise, self compliment and anything that improves oneself. We all have one body, maybe one life, so take care of what matters the most in this world. You do this every day and in 10 years past, you shall see a tremendous transformation both physically and mentally. Number 8. Don't think too much. Thinking random useless thoughts does nothing but clutter your mind with unnecessary information. That is why I recommend meditation because it will help you ease and rest your mind. Over millions of years, we humans have evolved not physically but mentally. Today, we are upon border with trillions and trillions of images, noises, rays, waves, and thoughts, and not all of it is helpful or beneficial to us. Overthinking can cause stress and many other unwanted problems. Number 29. Practice fasting or intermediate fasting. Is practice the most important meal of the day? Yes, that's because you heard and were raised to believe since birth. Those who practice intermittent fasting would say otherwise and experience much more health uh, benefits than those who eat breakfast daily. I'm not saying breakfast is bad. If it works for you, then don't stop. But intermittent fasting and regular fasting is one of the healthiest things you can do for our bodies. Number 30, drink tea or coffee every day. Coffee and tea are quite healthy and billions of people drink it daily. Too much coffee is unhealthy, but one to two cups a day is perfect. The aroma of freshly roasted coffee in the morning has been shown to boost mood, good mood, vanquish stress, and can alleviate some restlessness. Tea is healthier than coffee and tea contains less caffeine. It's cheaper and has anti-aging properties too. How you prepare tea and what type of tea you make can all the difference. So make sure you study on that. Number 31, drink water every hour. Drink, just drink water whenever and wherever. Water does much more than just hydration. It can boost power, enhance your mood, and reduce stress and much more. Don't drink water after a meal. The best time to drink water is first thing in the morning, 30 minutes before meals, 30 minutes before workouts. 32, get sunlight. Sunlight contains vitamin D, which helps with bone structure and the regulation of calcium and phosphorus in the body. It is vital to young children growing with adequate sunlight. Studies show that sunlight can make one happy. People who live in hemispheres that get more sunlight are known to be happier than their peers who don't. Number 33, go to the beach. Who doesn't like sunlight? Crystal clear water, seagulls, flying over the heads and the joy of everyone in the vicinity. Depressed and down people. Whenever I get an opportunity to go to the beach, I make sure to savor each moment to the max. You know that feeling, especially when you only go a few times a year. Everything about the beach spells out happiness. People, sand, weather, atmosphere, etc. are the key ingredients to what makes the beach a beach. Number 34, talk to people. Communication is the most vital aspects of life and reproduction. How do we meet the love of our life? How can we make friends? What are the requirements to become an effective leader? Communication. Talking about your problems to others really does help. Humans interact with one another every single moment and is the key to a prosperous society. The average person is communicating via a device 24 hours a week. That's non-verbal. Number 35, stop eating junk food. Let's emphasize the importance of not eating junk garbage. It's labeled junk for a reason. You want to look and feel good, yet you won't do the work that is required. You have no one but yourself to blame. You don't have to stop eating junk food entirely, but at least start eating healthy every day. Over time, this will compound, and as the years pass, you will see good changes to yourself. Start now, so the future you will thank you. Number 36, don't stay up too late. Sleeping with a routine before 10 p.m. is ideal, like I mentioned before. Staying up late causes you to miss out on the important hours of recovery and other health benefits. Even if you sleep for a full 8 hours, you won't be as well rested as someone who sleeps 6 hours during normal time. Number 37, take things slow. Rushing causes more mistakes than taking your time. When you make mistakes, you have to go back and correct it. Doesn't this produce more waste this time? It doesn't matter how fast you go as long as you do not stop, you will eventually reach your destination. There's no such thing as a rich get rich today, lose 50 pounds by tomorrow and the like. Things take time and the best things require the most time. Number 38, have sex whenever. Sex shouldn't be a routine or done periodically. It is natural and the key to life. Of course everyone has their own opinion, but as long as you're not married or committed to anyone, then why not have sex with whomever you want and whenever you want? At any given moment, over 15,000 people are having intercourse. As long as you're not harming others, then why not? Live your life because it may just not come again. Number 39, don't overwork yourself. Work is what makes a civilization advance to new heights. Without work, there would be no progress, technology, or innovation. However, we humans are not slaves, no machines. 
our body was not designed to work continuously. You will break mentally or physically. Overwork can even lead to death or suicide. Life is all about path balance. Work hard, play harder. Life is meant to be enjoying and treasure. Number 40, use your non-dominant hand. I'm almost 27 years old and I started using my left hands about four to five years ago, brushing my teeth, eating, using the PC mouse, holding the cup, and sometimes cooking are done by my non-dominant hand. It surely pays off. What if one day your dominant hands becomes unusable now? Well, little things add up to a whole lot if done day by day for years. Number 41, be yourself. There's nothing sexier than being yourself. Being yourself radiates confidence, self-love, and is extremely attractive. We live in a world with familiar faces but unknown traits. No one wants to be around two-faced people. No one trusts them either. Plus, it is so much easier to be yourself. Lying about it will do more harm than you realize. You are unique in your very own way. Number 42, surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with positive people only. This will uplift you and help you out in times of trouble. Plus, your life will be happier and much better. They say your environment makes you who you are. Number 43, turn off the TV. Americans watch four to five hours of TV a day. Unless you're watching something educational or it's your job, then turn the TV off completely or limit your watch time. Netflix and chill is great, but once it becomes a daily habit, then it becomes a danger. And you're not improving yourself in any way. Watching too much TV can kill you. Number 44, adopt a pet. Having a pet can reduce stress. Humans are drawn to cute and fluffy things. Having a pet adds an additional member to your family. They are always there for us and are the first one to greet us except for cats. If you never had a pet that depended on you, then you don't know what I'm talking about. It gives one purpose and more meaning to life. We have someone that we must care for. Number 45, improve yourself mentally, physically. How can one live life to the absolute fullest if they're not in the tip top shape? You feel depressed, overworked, worn out, and have no idea why. Maybe instead of changing or blaming your environment, try changing yourself first. Never stop improving yourself. The fastest man can run 27 miles per hour. The strongest man can squat over 1,200 pounds. Humans can conquer anything we set our mind to. If you want to change your mind, then start with yourself. Number 46, believe you are something. Everything begins and ends with you. If you want to be the best, then you must believe in yourself every single moment. The top 1% are there for a reason. I'm sure believing in themselves had something to do with it. If you don't have self-belief, then you will never amount to anything. Number 47, laugh and smile every day. Laughter is the best medicine. Smile. Right now, it doesn't matter why. Just do it. Don't you feel a little bit better? Laughing and smiling expresses happiness. We all want happiness and more joy in our lives. So laugh and smile until you've had your fill. It's also healthy and good for us. Start your day with a smile and end it with a laughter or the other way around. Number 49, don't be a so easily angered. Unless you're the Hulk, then stop being angry so easy. If you are easy to anger, it just shows that you lack specific discipline. Being angry is good, it releases built up stress within the body, but if you're constantly angry, it can be unhealthy. You're not living, not at all, if your anger is taking control of your life. Stop it, you need help. Number 49, breathe. 21%, that's how much oxygen is present in the air that we breathe. Increased oxygen has shown to boost mood, enhance thinking, work out longer, and much more. There are oxygen bars where you breathe oxygen at 40%. I've never tried it, but from the reviews, I'm definitely going to. The 4x4x4 four by four by four technique alleviates stress and other alignments. Breathe in for 4 seconds, hold for 4, exhale for 4, hold for 4, and repeat 4 times. Do this whenever you feel like you're about to explode. Thank you again and please don't forget to like, comment on what you think about this video and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day guys.